If God loves me, why isn't my life easy? If God cares for me, why am I not blessed financially? If this is God's will, why is it this hard? If God is with me, why am I suffering? If you are asking these questions and you are having questions about your faith and challenges about your faith, this video is for you. I know about the mindset that as a Christian, life is not supposed to be this hard. Life is supposed to be easy. And this is because of the messages that we have been saturated with. And it's a mindset that makes us feel like the Christian life is supposed to be void of suffering, of challenges, of problems, and of trouble. That's why sometimes when you would see other believers going through tough times, you ask yourself, is it that they did something wrong? Is it that God is punishing them? Is it that they are not so close to God? What is happening in their life? It is just like the story in the Bible where the disciples ask Jesus, is this person like this because of his father's sin? Who sinned that made him to be like this? And Jesus answered, this sickness is for the glory of God to be revealed. So sometimes, some things that you are going through may not be because you are doing something wrong. But it might be because God wants to show forth his glory through your life. And I might be bold to say that sometimes because you're doing something right, is the reason you may be going through some tough times. And that is a hard thing to accept. The question I would like to ask is, did God really promise an easy life? Is it in the scriptures? Did God say your life will be easy when you follow me? Because I grew up in church hearing teachings like, if you believe in Jesus, all your problems will be over. We went for evangelism and we'll be telling the people, you are having problems because you've not believed in Jesus. You're having challenges because you've not believed in Jesus. If you come to him, all your problems are over. I understand this is a good motivation, but is this purely scriptural? People have come to believe. I came to believe also. And I was given this message. And I have an expectation because of the message I heard. Now, things are not going perfect. Things are not going well like I thought. It sounded so good to hear that all my problems will be over. Of course, I'm ready. I'm waiting for that opportunity. But then that's not the promise God made. The salvation Jesus brought to us was an opportunity for us to come walk with him and be saved from our sins. And through that salvation, we can now be redeemed. Our body can be redeemed of sickness because Jesus paid for those things. But he did not say all your problems in life will be over. The scripture says, come unto me, all you that labor and are of every learning. And I will give you rest. And I understand that this could easily sound like come unto Jesus and your life will be made easy. That was not a promise that all life will be made easy. But it was a promise for us to come work with Jesus. So that the religious anxiety of trying to please God in the flesh and draw our efforts and self-righteousness will be uploaded from us. That heavy burden of us trying to please God will be removed such that we can now please God without having to carry that heavy load on ourselves, but through the help of Jesus and Him becoming our salvation. So my first point in this regard is, having faith in God does not make life become easy, but it makes you become stronger. It would definitely be cool if faith could dissolve all the problems that we have in life and would never have to face any trouble. But that is not a promise from God. Scripture did not say with God all things are easy. But it surely did say that with God all things are possible. Even the things that are impossible with men, God is capable. God has the ability and the capacity to do all things. And there's nothing too hard for him to do. Faith in God is to help strengthen us to face the challenges of life, not to escape those challenges. Because we are not meant to abscond the challenges of life. We are meant to walk through it. And Proverbs 24 verse 10 says, If you fail under pressure, your strength is too small. That is why having faith in God as a believer is not so that you will never have issues. But it is that whenever you have problems and troubles and trials and sorrow and pain, you will walk through it with the help of God. Number two, God did not promise peace in the world. But he promised us peace in Jesus Christ. The scripture did not say that you will have peace in the world because you are a Christian. But it said that in the world, you will have trouble. He did not say you may have trouble or probably trouble might come to you. He said you will, which is, it is to prepare your mind to expect. And that is not for you to go search around looking for trouble. You don't need to go search for trouble, but as you are living life, 
you should have the expectation that if trouble comes, you are not surprised by it. Because already Christ told you, these things will happen. I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. So the assurance that you and I have today is that Christ had overcome. And we are walking in victory. We are not looking for victory. We are walking in the victory Christ has already had for us. Because the Bible says he is our succor in life, which is he has experienced all these things. We don't have an high priest who has not tested what we are going through. He walked where we are walking right now. He felt what we are feeling right now. So he knows how to comfort us in the situations that we face. He says, take heart. Be cheerful. Don't let this make you disheartened. But let your hope rise. Because I have overcome. I've been through this and I've conquered it. And he's telling you, my strength is there for you. So we don't have peace in the world. We don't have peace in the system of how things are carried out in the world. But we are promised peace in Jesus alone. And the message here is for us to stay glued, clinged to Jesus Christ. Number three, God did not promise that it would become easy. But he promised that he would always be with us. The promise is God's presence. The promise was not life becoming easy. As point one said, God will strengthen our faith. To be able to face the challenges of life. That is why it could be harder if you don't have God in your life. To help you through these things. Like David said. Though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death. I know you are with me. It's like I'm not going through life alone. So the presence of God with you is not to help you escape the challenges and realities of life. His presence is to help you navigate the realities of life. It is to help you face your challenges. It is to help you face the troubles head on. So the troubles, the pains, the tribulation, the pressures, the failures, the disappointments, all of it are realities of life that you cannot escape. But you need the presence of God to walk through it. So if you're having challenges with your faith, just know God promised you his presence to go through this life. If you are a Christian, choosing God means that you took side and you have an enemy because since you choose God, you have an enemy of God. Who now you've made yourself an enemy to it. The devil is an enemy of God. And because you choose God, you are his enemy. And the scripture says that we are not wrestling flesh and blood. But we are wrestling principalities and powers. So with this you know that you are up against some spiritual powers. And the Bible told you that the weapons of your warfare are not carnal. So you know that you are not in a place to go for a vacation. So that you will be like a need an easy life. Yeah, you can go flex and have your relaxation if you want. But the truth is, life keeps going on. Whether you are flexing or not. So it is just for you to realize that you have a real enemy when you are on God's side. And this real enemy is up against you and up against your destiny. Because he knows God has something for you. And he wants to stop you from reaching that divine destiny that God has prepared for you. That is his own goal. He wants to twat everything God has for you. God did not promise you a stress or struggle-free life. But one thing I believe about the scripture is the fact that God does not want us to toil. But he wants us to work hard. Working is not outside of God's idea and God's will. But having to toil, which is work aimlessly without seeing results... Is what God is against. That is why when Jesus made the disciples at the sea, they have told all night without seeing anything. He did a miracle. He told them, cast the net by the right side and they caught a net breaking amount of fish. And that is why you need God in your life. Such that the work that you do, he can bless the works of your hand. It doesn't mean that it will not be hard. Like Joseph was in Potiphar's house and the Bible said God favored him because God was with him. Everything he did was successful. And the master could see that the favor of God is on this boy. Did it mean that Joseph did not work hard? No, he worked hard. So as a believer, I do not think that working hard is a lost art in our society. Because everybody wants to get rich so quick. When you go through difficulties, God uses it for your good. As scripture says, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God. And are called according to his purpose for them. In Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Everything. He did not say 
some things or certain things, but he said everything, everything is everything, which is good, bad, ugly, beautiful, anyhow it is. God uses everything to work for our good as believers. There's nobody that God has used to do great things that have not faced the realities of life. That is why Joseph, like I mentioned earlier, had to face so many evil from his brothers, from the master's wife. He had to face so many things before he could get to where he ought to be. And God used everything he went through to prepare him, to build him, to make him stronger and made his faith become stronger. Once you become stronger, life will become easier to you. The last thing I would say here is that God uses difficulty to build in you perseverance. And that is God helps you not to quit easily when things get hard. Because if you never face any difficulty in life, if everything seems to be easy, anywhere you go, everything is always easy. The moment you hit something that is not easy, you want to quit. Because at such point, you might think, this is not God's will for me. And I had a wrong mindset regarding relationship that God had to correct me. I thought that there has to be no fight or no disagreement if we are really in love or if it is God's will. I don't have to fight or disagree with this person. But of course, it's natural that I'm coming from a different place, different upbringing, different environment, different mindset, different culture. So what makes me think that we will not disagree on things? And having to disagree doesn't mean that I am right and the person is wrong or that the person is right and I am wrong. It could just be that we hold our different opinions but we need to come to a place of agreement. And that is why the fight may be necessary. Because God made me realize that the fight in a relationship with two people is for the strengthening of that relationship and weeding out of everything that will pose as threat or danger to the life and health of that relationship. Because by the time you don't fight and deal with the issues that need to be dealt with, those issues will now become potential traits because you've not dealt with it. You're avoiding tension. This is applicable in life with your faith because scripture tells you contain for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. It did not say neglect the faith. No, some things you need to fight for if it's worth it. So sometimes God will use the tensions in our life to build in us perseverance to remain and to fight for things that needs to be fought for and to value things that we have. Because if I wait to be in a relationship and it's so easy and everything always goes easy, I may come to a place that I'm not valuing what I have because it is so easy. So sometimes the tension has to come for us to have some shaking and shake out things that doesn't have to be and we see the reason we need to keep fighting for the health of this relationship. So like I said, this can be applied to your dream such that you are like, I'm not giving up on my dream. You face at times, you're building a business, you're building a career, you're doing something and you feel like quitting. This is the place that God will use all the experiences that you've had to make you persevere. I hope this video has been a blessing and you've learned something from it. Thank you so much for watching. I would like you to give this video a thumbs up if it has blessed you or if you have learned something from it and share this video to others, to your friends and families. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. It is such a pleasure to have you. I am Uwe Mepan. Thank you.